Hi, it's Sean with Lux Lighting. I want to talk to you about the pricing of LED lamps. I've got three lamps here in my hand, and if you were to look at them, an untrained eye, you'd look at them and say, yeah, they all look like LED lamps to me. they got similar shaped bodies, they got two prongs on the bottom, and yeah, they look like light bulbs. They should work, right? Well, this bulb you can buy on Amazon for about $2 or $1.70. They're very inexpensive. This is a little bit better bulb. You can buy it for seven to 15 bucks. And then we got the bulbs we use. I'm almost embarrassed to say, but they're $40. Anywhere actually from, depending on how bright they are, from 35 to $45. So why so much for this bulb and so cheap for this bulb? Well, there's a lot that goes into an LED lamp. This one, I kind of get a kick out of it. So LED lamps are replacing halogen bulbs. This whole casing on this bulb is exactly like a halogen bulb. They took probably leftover inventory they had from when they used to make halogen bulbs and they converted it into an LED. So before they put the glass on top, they just dropped in some electronics and called it a day. This one's already been cracked and fallen apart. Just didn't last any time whatsoever. And there's a lot of other things we'll talk about too, but we'll just talk about the casings first. Next one I have here, the little bit more expensive one, looks like a decent LED lamp. It's got, um, Thins on the side of it to help pull away the heat from the lamp because LEDs do not like heat. If the circuit boards get too hot, they will uh, degrade rather quickly and shorten the life of the LED. It says on the back of it, it's meant for moist locations. I was playing around with it and I noticed there were some little holes back here and I popped them in and found out, well, heck, the cover of this, the lens comes right off. And if you look on the inside of this, you'll see, you can see all electrical components and it's already starting to corrode. So we're putting these things outside where humidity's high, low, cold, freezing, rain. If humidity can get in, it's gonna destroy the circuit board. So the lamps we use, they have a heating or cooling fins on the outside and help dissipate the heat. Similar to this one, and this light is actually a good light for using inside the house, just not for outside. The other thing with these particular light is it is fully potted. And what does that mean? Well, that's where they take a resin and inject it into the housing and they fill the entire housing with a resin that waterproofs and seals everything so no moisture can get in. Plus the resin also acts as a heat sink and allows the heat to move through the resin and to these fins to keep it cool. The other big difference with LED lighting, which really comes into some of the major expense, is how well is the circuit board made and how true is the lighting. So the LED itself, is made from a silicone chip, just like a computer chip is made. And when they make them, they make these big, big sheets of them, they call them chips. And to get a good color selection, only different portions of that chip put out different types of, or different color of lights. We'll talk about color here later. Um, so to get a really good consistent light, you can only select from a small area of that chip, which makes it much more expensive because it's a much smaller area. Inexpensive lights, you can buy half dozen lights, put them in fixtures and put them up against a wall and every one of those lights will look different. They'll have a different color hue to them. Some might be a warm light, some might be a bright white light, some of them might be just a little bit different. So the lights we use have a very tight bin process. So they're very close together in that chip. So the, the light output is very consistent. The other thing that's real important with LEDs, if there's no lens on them, here's the lens I took off that one, the lens disperse the light and how, depending on how that lens is made, can create some interesting and sometimes uh, distracting shadow patterns. So inexpensive lights typically don't have very good lenses on them. The expensive lights like we use have a very nice lens. So the color pattern and the color distribution or the light distribution is very uniform without unevenness or funky shadowing around the outside of it. And generally speaking too, these more expensive bulbs will last a lot longer. These will last anywhere from 10 to 15 years. These cheap ones we see last three to five years. So weighing out your goods and pros, if you're replacing them yourself and you wanna replace them every five years, you might wanna go the cheap route, but if you don't wanna get out there and have to replace them every five years, put in a, a good quality bulb in, you'll be well served and you'll make a very good looking landscape lighting profile.